Hello, chess friends, and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel, and welcome back to our Queen's Gambit Decline series. So, in this series, we're following this very nice opening from whites and from blacks' perspective, and today we're continuing with our Queen's Gambit Decline series and the so called Chigorin defense. And the Chigorin defense, in my opinion, is an opening that you should try to avoid especially if you're maybe a beginner don't play that uh, because it's in my opinion not such a good opening uh, and there are i think several ways how white can beat the chigger in defense in an easy way in my opinion as i said uh, maybe it's something worth the study if you want to surprise your opponent but uh, today's video will be about how to beat the chigger in defense with a great gameplay by gary kasparov against vasily vanchuk I think uh, the system here that uh, Gary Kasparov is applying is something that you should also try to do. Uh, it's, I think, really the best way to beat the Chigorin because sometimes uh, you can start to complicate things in the Chigorin from White's perspective and then Black has also some opportunities and in this video we'll analyze also a little bit the opportunities for Black but also with my suggestion, as I said, how to beat the Chigorin defense. So let's check out now first, of course, what's the Queen's Gambit client, what is the Chigorin defense of the Queen's Gambit client watch my uh, suggestion uh, how to beat the chigorin and what are also some opportunities for black in the continuation of the game so here uh, Gary Kasparov opened with the move d4 we have d5 by Vasily Vanchuk and now after move c4 many times knight to f6 e6 c6 are opportunities but here the chigorin defense is uh, the continuation with the move knight to c6 and okay the main goal of the Chigorin defense is after c takes d5 to recapture with the queen and then battle for the center with the move e5 uh, or immediately uh, here in the continuation if white does something else with knight to c3 again simply battle for the e5 square so with the move knight to c6 black is an announcing a clarification in the center by playing the move e5 in my opinion one of the best ways is simply to proceed c takes d5 that's also the continuation that Gary Kasparov played there are now several ways which we're analyzing also now in this video if you play maybe knight to f3 which is also a normal idea in order to prevent maybe the e5 uh, move of uh, of blacks i think uh, many times you face this variation bishop to g4 then after c takes d5 here bishop to f3 and there are now two ways of course uh, how to proceed here you can play maybe g takes f3 but now after queen to d5 knight uh, e3 will happen and now again black will play the move e5 will simply battle for the e5 square and after knight to c3 you witness many times this situation uh, this is also now uh, the most important strategic goal of blacks to simply develop the dark school bishop pin the knight and now after bishop to d2 again also to take out the knight bishop takes c3 and after b takes c3 b, uh, bishop to c3 uh, white is now continuing the game with the bishop pair black is continuing the game now with uh, the knights on the board but uh, what we can notice now is of course that white has at least this uh, weakened pawn structure here this double pawn structure on, on, on the f file on the other hand black's uh, pawn structure it's much healthier but again i think even in this scenario what white can uh, play for is a powerful central control because we have now four pawns in the center and there's no good way i think for black to recapture now uh, the pawn in the center because if e takes d4 happens still c takes d4 and you see now this dominant position in the center i think is something worth uh here for white i think white can simply rely on this dominant position in the center in the continuation something like rook to b1 will happen uh maybe queen to c2 bishop to c4 uh, attacking the maybe the queen further bishop to e2 uh of course maybe even kingside castling in some occasions is possible rook to g1 is also an opportunity to attack maybe the g7 weakness so this is um good continuation i think for white but i think also that black can find good opportunities in the game what you can try uh here after move knight to c6 you can also play the move knight to c3 and in the continuation of our chigor in defense series we'll analyzing also this line after move knight to c3 the main goal of white is after potential maybe uh, here d takes c4 to proceed with the move d5 knight to e5 and then maybe f4 uh e4 and then in one particular moment to recapture here also the pawn c4 so we're analyzing also that lines in the continuation of the of the series but uh my recommendation as we said is here simply like gary kasparov played the game with the move c takes d5 and okay after move on uh, queen takes d5 again there are in my opinion only two good ways here to proceed one way is to play knight to f3 or to play e3 both moves are of course protecting the d4 square that's now the main issue our d4 pawn is hanging so there are as i said only two good ways knight to f3 or e3 to proceed here but in my opinion uh really 
e3 is much much better than immediately to play the move knight to f3 because you see now why in the continuation after knight to f3 i think e5 is happening for sure uh here in the continuation knight to c3 then again this idea bishop to b4 that's actually the main goal of uh, the chigorin defense the spinning idea then after bishop to d2 maybe something like bishop takes c3 bishop takes c3 or b takes c3 here after bishop to c3 now e4 and actually what black is doing here black is closing the game and the uh, knights will love of course the closed game so that's why uh, this bishop on c3 is a little bit stuck and it's a little bit blocked out by its own pawns in one particular moment i think white will find a way uh, to liberate himself but uh, as i said in my opinion this move knight to f3 is not so good i simply like more the flexibility of the knight because you see now also in this gameplay by gary kasparov that the knight will come to e2 not on f3 where it can be kicked away maybe and also attacked uh here maybe by the bishop if that happens then still we have the flexibility to play the move f3 and these are the tiny little things that i think that we should know this in the chigor in defense and i and i think uh you see now how um this knight to e2 idea is much much better because after normal move here e5 that was played by uh, vasily vanchuk here knight to c3 again the same stuff happens but with the flexibility to play the move knight to e2 which is now a huge huge difference now we have bishop to d2 again uh bishop takes c3 b takes c3 and now you see if the knight would have been here on f3 black would always have the opportunity to play maybe the move e4 or even a very annoying pin with the move bishop to g4 but so far it's not the case because we have played e3 we have now a dominant position in the center this e3 is also supporting the d4 pawn which is now a huge huge difference in the position and now in the continuation of the game i think black will never recapture here in the pawn on, in, in the center with the move e takes d4 because it's again simply improving the pawn structure of white so, so that's why here in a continuation after b takes c3 queen to d6 was played by uh, vast Ivanchuk. now bishop to d3 we don't want to play bishop to e2 because we want to take that square for the knight we want to bring the knight on e2 here after move bishop to d3 knight to f6 and now f3 f3 is a great move here because you can play actually this move although you're weakening a little bit the, the dark squares in front of the king but the main issue black gave up of course the dark square bishop in an early stage of the game there's nothing uh with which uh, black can attack uh, white's position on dark squares so uh, the bishop on d2 is a great protector of dark squares in one moment maybe if it's possible we can play e4 so far it's not possible but as a long run uh e4 then bishop to uh, bishop to e3 bishop to f2 knight to e2 uh, building really this compact setup in front of the king i think is now a huge huge uh, strategy Strategical goal here for white so here as i said f3 and knight to e2 and i think white has solved now all of the positional problems the evaluation is almost plus one here already for white uh with the bishop pair on the board with this dominant position in the center with the pawns i think white has a really comfortable game and you see now vasily vanchuk doesn't have counterplay at all uh here in the continuation casting knight to e2 look at this how much better i think this knight on e2 than on f3 is because it can be always kicked away uh by the potential e4 knight to e2 here we have bishop to uh, e6 castling we have now rook to d8 here by uh, vasily vanchuk queen to c1 knight to d7 and now bishop to e1 again with the idea as we said we want to bring simply uh here the bishop on um, on uh, f2 where it supports of course here the dark squares in front of the king so here queen to e7 maybe e takes d4 uh, after c takes d4 knight to e5 is an opportunity but now bishop to e4 is again solving all of the position problems because after bishop to d5 we can simply take and then also take out the knight so again black is losing another tempo in in the meanwhile we can again uh, play bishop to f2 even knight to f4 i think is then a great opportunity maybe with maneuvers knight to d3 knight to e5 knight to c5 uh as the long term again of course uh bishop to e4 so black gain maybe the tempo in this particular scenario but nothing special so after move bishop to e1 we have queen to e7 we have queen to b1 building this very powerful battery in the continuation knight to b6 played by ivanchuk he realized that he's 
probably losing the battle here uh, on this long diagonal wanted probably to occupy maybe this square uh, on c4 which is now i think the main issue here maybe in white camp in the continuation gary kasparov accepted the challenge took bishop takes h7 king to h8 bishop to d3 we have now knight to a5 uh attacking further this uh, weak square on c4 we have now e4 knight to c4 we have now f4 look how gary kasparov is now playing the game with the bishop pair whenever you have the bishop pair you want the position to get be dynamic now with the bishops on the board uh i think it's a great idea to open the position like this f4 we have f6 f5 bishop to f7 and now rook to f3 we have king to g8 and now rook to h3 with of course preparations to sneak in somehow uh, with one of these pieces maybe with the light square bishop or with the queen here on h7 this is now also a nice tactical idea so whatever you do here he takes d4 played by um, ivanchuk nothing dramatically changed because still uh, Gary Kasparov has this powerful pawn center which was I think in the beginning and it's many times um, in the Chigorin defense the main strategical goal of white white has always the dominant position in the center but i think the activity of the pieces is a little bit different whenever you're choosing to play maybe a different move order uh, i think as i said with the move e3 instead of this move knight to f3 white gained a much much better flexibility in the game so here after move c takes d4 we have now c5 uh here uh ivanchuk is trying desperately really to break uh the pawn chain that white is building but here gary katsparov simply passed through and has now also a very powerful square that can be occupied which is of course the square e6 so here the continuation after move d5 we have knight to e5 bishop to c2 we have knight to c4 knight to f4 here again with ideas knight to g6 knight to e6 these are uh, obvious targets here for white b5 we have now queen to b3 getting the queen towards here the king side in the continuation we have knight to g4 queen to g3 we have knight to uh, e5 and here after move bishop to d1 in this position Ivanchuk actually resigns so there's nothing that uh, can be done so much but uh, the game uh, was lost uh, pre in some previous moves not in this particular move so after move bishop to d1 it's obvious that the knight will be taking you cannot play uh, knight to h6 because rook takes h6 is happening again it's simply game over so let's go back as i said this is my recommendation after move knight to c6 the chigor in defense c takes d4 or c takes d5 queen to d5 e3 not knight to f3 because the knight can be vulnerable to some attacks we have seen with e4 or with bishop to g4 so that's why here after e5 knight to c3 we're attacking the queen we're analyzing also some different ideas queen to d8 queen to e6 where oh pardon me queen to d6 when uh, the queen is escaping from uh from the attack of the knight but many times the main goal of the chigorin defense is the spinning idea bishop to b4 now we play bishop to d2 now the queen is hanging black has to react bishop takes c3 b takes c3 again if black wants the clarification then e takes d4 doesn't bring so much because c takes d4 is happening we have still this powerful center in the continuation here uh ivanchuk played queen to d6 but now bishop to d3 and now knight to uh, pardon me f3 with knight to e2 and some e4 preparation so this is now my recommendation how to play the setup against the chigor in defense we're analyzing now in the continuation of the series more and more of this uh, very tricky opening from white and from black perspective still nothing is lost of course also for black black can also play some different ideas but this is something i think that we should study use this strategical goals like Gary Kasparov did here in the game and go into a favorable favorable middle game uh, here in the continuation so okay I hope that you realized these ideas and I hope that you enjoyed this uh, choice uh, how to play uh, the Chigor in defense from white's perspective if you have trouble maybe to play as black check out my commented chess games uh, in some great openings in the uh, hyper accelerated Dragon Sicilian defense series and my Nimzo Indian defense series as good responses to e4 and d4 and if you want to start the queen's gambit declined more check out my queen's gambit decline series so far here's also the link and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course